Hi everyone and welcome to Retreat Reviews. In these videos I take an objective look at some of the retreats that I have been on and describe what they offer in terms of facilities, organisation and the culture that they promote there so that you can make an informed choice on whether it's the right place for you. What you won't find here is any kind of trip reports, thoughts about the nature of consciousness, it's just my objective opinion on the retreats that I visited. So let's get into it. The centre we are looking at today is Arcana Amazon, which is just outside of Iquitos in Peru. This is an organisation that's been around for a long time, so they're fairly well established in the ayahuasca community and have a lot of glowing recommendations on the various review websites. Now, I've been to their jungle centre twice, once in May 2017 and once in February 2018. And what this means is I got to see the centre in two completely different physical states. When I was there in 2017, the Amazon water level was really high, so your movement was restricted to the centre itself, which is elevated on stilts. If you wanted to go anywhere else, then you needed a boat, and it really drives home how isolated you are, because you can't just choose to walk off and go for a stroll. And some people might not like that too much. Now in 2018 when I was there, the river was low, which was a completely different experience. Now you had these huge green areas you could go walking off in, or you could go and explore the village next door to pick up some supplies. Now personally, I actually preferred it when the river was high. The isolation made you a lot more introspective and you had to bond more with your fellow travellers to get through the experience. And I just found the landscape of the high river to be incredibly beautiful. So for those who want to plan their trips around the flood season, or to avoid it, then the river is flooded from roughly March through till May. So choose your dates accordingly. Now before we get into the details of the retreat, there's one statement which pretty much needs to preface everything I'm going to say about this place, which is, it's the jungle. Now that might sound incredibly obvious, but I've seen some people arrive at these centres who seem completely unprepared for the heat, for the bugs, and just for the all round basic living conditions which you get in the jungle. I've literally seen people quit and leave the retreat within 24 hours because they just couldn't handle it. They just weren't prepared to deal with it. So again, it's the jungle. Get your head around it before you go and make sure you understand what you are getting yourself into. Facilities are definitely basic by Western standards because again, it's the middle of the jungle. But I was actually really impressed by what they had and I always felt comfortable. The beds in each room have mosquito nets to keep away the various bugs while you sleep and there's some basic furniture and usually a power socket. The bottom line is that the rooms are functional but to be honest, you're not going to be spending a huge amount of time in them anyway. In fact, most people don't even sleep in the rooms, preferring to, to instead sleep in the maloka. Now I personally, I slept in the bedroom probably less than 50% of the time that I was there during the retreat. Reason being, it was just slightly cooler in the Maloka and you had that kind of communal feeling after the ceremonies. Now the Tambo hut style rooms mean that although you have privacy from your fellow humans, the other creatures in the jungle are not quite as respectful. And I would frequently find large spiders or other critters waiting in my room when I came back into it. But again, this is to be expected, it's a jungle and you get over it pretty quickly. There are also various communal spaces where people hang out in between the other activities. The main maloka itself has hammocks and swinging chairs which fall down from the ceiling. And there's also a second maloka which has some uh, gym mats uh, which people use for yoga or tai chi. For those who like to work out, there's a fairly well equipped gym. It's cool that they have it, but honestly, I hardly saw anyone use it. I went with the intention of using the gym, but after a few nights of throwing my guts up and just because of the heat and the stickiness, I decided not, I wasn't going to bother. Meals are served within a shared dining area. It's three times a day on normal days and twice a day on ceremony days. Uh, due to the ayahuasca diet, the food is somewhat basic, but I honestly think the kitchen staff did a really good job. And some of the smoothies and juices that they served at, at breakfast time were absolutely delicious. Other than that, it's basically plain chicken, fish, rice, salad. It's not gonna win any Michelin stars, but I was happy with it. <laughs> The 
facilitators at Arcana are some of the greatest people I've ever met. Honestly, these people are absolute angels and they treated me with the, just the right amount of love, respect, and also honesty in telling me when I needed to get my shit together. Now, one thing to mention here, which I guess would be true of most retreat centers, is that the staff are gonna rotate in and out of the place fairly frequently, usually every six to 12 months. And this was something I didn't expect when I made my second visit there. You know, I went hoping to see some familiar faces, but nearly everyone had moved on. And I guess there's a lesson there in that don't get too attached to these people and to make the most of the time that you have with them. On both times I was there though, the staff were absolutely great, which tells me that the hiring practices of ARCAN as an organization are set up to attract really good people. On both occasions I visited, there were three resident shaman who would all participate in each ayahuasca ceremony. And there was a separate shaman who conducted the Nunu and the Cambo ceremonies. Now, each shaman was a Peruvian native with traditional training, and I really felt the passion and the expertise from each of them. They were really friendly, really approachable, and I felt very comfortable with them. culture at Arcana is open, transparent and very friendly. You'll find the facilitators and the shaman hanging around the centre during the day and you can approach them anytime about pretty much anything. The atmosphere is very chill, they don't force any kind of dogma or belief system onto you, so if like me you're a little bit more sceptical then you'll feel right at home. That said, for those who want to talk about things like plant spirits or some of the wackier stuff like alien civilizations, then there's always going to be someone around who will accommodate you. For me, one of the main reasons I chose to go with Arcana was the daily excursions and the activities that they included within the retreat. My thinking was, I'd travelled a long way for this trip and I really liked the idea of getting as much as possible out of this adventure. And Arcana seemed to offer the best value in this area. The activities range from visiting a monkey sanctuary where monkeys will climb onto a boat and eat out of your hands. There were jungle hikes, we visited local villages, went to an animal sanctuary where you, you got to hug the resident sloths. And these activities are some of my fondest memories of the whole experience, if not my life. And even if I'd never drunk ayahuasca, I would still have had an amazing time just from these daytime excursions. So, during each week at Arcana, there is one new new ceremony, one Cambo ceremony and four ayahuasca ceremonies. And this is excellent value for money compared to some of the other centers around the Quito's, which tend on average to have three ayahuasca ceremonies in a week. The ceremonies all take place in a beautiful big maloca, which has room for about 25 people all sitting on mats around the edge. You're provided with everything you need, like pillows, blankets, and of course, a purge bucket. And this is all cleaned and prepared for you each day. Each ayahuasca ceremony is orchestrated by three shaman and with between four to six facilitators who you can call over anytime you need by flashing your torch. And the facilitators are super attentive, often knowing that you need help before even you do. Now the medicine at Arcana is without a doubt some of the strongest I've ever had. At the time of me doing this review, I have been on retreat with four different organizations and the potency of the medicine at Arcana is orders of magnitude stronger than any of the places I've been to. It's really powerful. The medicine itself is brewed according to the traditional Shipibo way, so it's just the ayahuasca vine and chacrina leaves, nothing else added. Now the ceremonies are absolutely mind-blowing. You have three shaman all singing their own ikaros. It comes together into this powerful cacophony of sound. It just blew me away. It is like nothing else I've ever heard. Simply amazing. Now at some point during the ceremony, you'll be brought up in front of the shaman where one of them will sing a personal ikaro to you based on the intentions that you set during the day. And this makes the experience very personalized and creates a deep connection with the shaman. I, I really appreciated this. Also on the final night, the facilitator will record the ikaro and send it to you as an mp3 file for you to listen to, which is just awesome and it really drives home that this is your personal ikaro. So to summarize, 
In my opinion, Arcana Amazon is a superb retreat. For just under $1,400, you get seven days in the jungle, four ayahuasca ceremonies, one new new ceremony, one cambo ceremony, daily excursions, all wrapped up with good facilities, great people, attentive staff, and beautifully orchestrated ceremonies. And I think that is extremely good value for money. And to make it even sweeter, they offer a 10% discount for returning visitors, which also applies to the center in the Sacred Valley, which I'm gonna be visiting in May 2019. So stay tuned for that review. So to close, I would definitely recommend Dark Arm Amazon. It's a big thumbs up from me. I'm sure I'll be back there again at some point. So thanks for watching. I'll leave some links in, to, in the description to things I've been talking about in this video. And yeah, check back again for more retreat reviews.